second last day of our trip in Austria and we are going to seize this day, these days and we would like to show you everything guys so stay tuned and be with us in our journey today guys as you can see the clouds are still too thick it's still very cloudy so so we hope we could show you something later so one crazy thing about the traffic road rules in Austria is that you have to pay so many tools. Before we came here, we paid 8 euros tools in Austria and then we decided to go to Innsbruck, Innsbruck and then we passed by Krimmel Wasserfalls and then we had to stop and pay 12 euros. We have to stop and pay 12 euros. Then, I stopped again after 2 hours. And we paid 17 euros. And we've been here stopping for 10 minutes, even other cars as well. There's a timer. And right now it's two minutes then we can go we've been here for a long period of time everyone is bored already and I don't understand why no, I still don't understand why they did let us like wait for 10 minutes there are no cars going already They're waiting Like a sea. The water is so blue. It's been 30 minutes of hiking, but in my estimate, we will arrive there. The hike uphill is I think in my estimate the hike uphill takes up to two hours and 30 minutes. And the area is also very stony so when you decide to hike here you have to get the better shoes enough water as well as uh, proper clothes when it's sunny i'm washing because it's too hot Water break. So we found already the place where we should stop. If you could see the house there, that's it. We need to reach there. So bad. So I think it takes another an hour.
people. I guess they're also vloggers, they're Chinese because they have drones. There are dinos here too. And look at this baby. Look, there are dinos and there are wild pigs. Oh, I wish I could see them. I already saw black sheep there. Look, it's the only black. Oh, there are so many. Get the stones. Gwen well, is also tired right now, but something happened. Filipinos has to kind of switch it because they are not much into walking. They will just switch that something, and they are pure hikers. <laughs> And this time guys, the YouTube channel Filipina Chicken would like to officially introduce you to the top of the mountain Opelhoid in Tyrol Alps, Austria. And this time Filipina found another Filipinos down there. So they are having those chica chica things. But the thing which makes me concerned a little bit Gwen wants to go there because there is some kind of famous bridge and people like to take photos there but when I could see the queue already of so many people I don't really want to wait there but Gwen wants to get the pictures from there I, I met two Filipinos too they, How are they? They're fine, they're from Batangas Oh And they're working in Rome and they came here in Austria by train By train? Oh my god yeah. I would never, <laughs> I would never travel by train or a bus or something. It might sound like I'm too comfortable or too lazy, but all of you guys who are having on vehicle, if it's motorbike or car, and once you are keen on communi commuting by those, you never want to go back to the car, to the bus or trains, except the plane. Yeah. I knew what's crazy the first time I saw them and it's like they're far away like oh Asians for sure they're Filipino you know Koba what's the sign? Filipinos are always bringing tripod <laughs> well, they, it <laughs> very was, long tripod it was not tripod it was tripod it was selfie stick yeah tripod but, selfie stick but 360 degree camera <laughs> very big no. oh for sure that's Filipino so I approach him hello are you from the Philippines? yes <laughs> yes Yes. Crazy, right? There is even more Filipinos than Czech people here. Yeah. Just a couple of information, but you cannot see that, guys. Mwah. 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 iPhone SE are old. <laughs> but according to the fitness app on my phone, 6,000 steps for kilometers and the last information there is flights climb 161 but i really don't understand what does it mean right now flights but that's it maybe by car flight yeah by car no it's not if you guys know what does it mean in the Apple Fitness app flights, climb and there is some specific number you can let me know down in the comments but it would be, I really need to get some smartwatch but absolutely I don't want the Apple watch because I don't like the design if it's a circle one I would pick it but because it's square I don't like it so now it's time to go to the bridge and wait for the queue to take a picture. <laughs> there are so many people. Craziness. I'm not sure what's this for, baby. Uh, you can break it. Huh? I will break it. <laughs> Wendy is already waiting in the queue for a picture 
There is a couple more people in front of her and I'm ready on the position <laughs> and for sure the pictures will be fucked up because Gwen is never satisfied with my pictures The moment of truth Jacob is taking a bath there Wow would you like to take a bath? Me too. Everyone wants to make a picture down there on that famous bridge. Only Jacob wants to take a bath here in the mountain streams. People are different. But Gwen's gonna join me, she said. in those mountain streams no one else yeah. oh my god Jacob just get naked here while people are downstairs <laughs> they could see your booty your European um, nudity <laughs> look the people are there and Kuba was just naked here <laughs> it's crazy Jacob just has a picture from me. <laughs> I remember Mr. Bean from you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your hand will smell horrible. Oh, is it? Mm. More dangerous than a cow. It was a good decision for us to come here as early as we can, though Jacob was really having a hard time waking up earlier. I woke up 4 a.m. and I tried to wake him up up until 6 a.m. But then I pushed him, Kuba, we really need to get up right now or else we will be going there late. And it's a good decision. Why? It's because the storm is coming. So if we came here later for sure, we won't we wouldn't be able to see the attractions because of the fog as well as the rain. Yeah. So guys, we just arrived to our car after an hour of walking down and Jacob just have an injury in his feet. He's bleeding so much. And now we are planning to get ourselves refreshed, finding some place to swim or take a bath. Because it's too hot. It looks very deep, even the first like just the side of the lake looks very deep I make my feet blood oh I love the water 
So since then I've been longing for some nice stone to exfoliate my feet because of crackedness from hiking. So it's so perfect. He's gonna scrub my feet here. <laughs> You have to scrub yours, baby, too, because your feet is cracking so bad. I could feel it when you're just caressing my skin with your feet. <laughs> it's so sharp like a cactus. <laughs> oh, it's just feet. My feet is very smooth now. <laughs> we found a very nice hostel. And we are going to stay just overnight, just for sleeping. And the more early at 5 a.m. we need to we need to go and start our travel going back home. And what's more perfect is the mountain view. So here are these guys. This is so beautiful. And Kuba is cooking. Hi. Mm -hmm. What are you cooking? Mm. I will not call it cooking, it's just warming up. <laughs> Already pre pre cooked food. Yeah, it's just it's going to prepare something for our dinner and something for breakfast and lunch for tomorrow so this is very amazing and i was so happy that i found this hostel aside from its cheap price the area is just so beautiful and you could really save money if you need a budget-friendly trip you can just come here in this hostel and cook your own food rather than just eating in the restaurant which is more expensive <laughs> that Asian store Asian restaurant yesterday it was two days ago that we it was crazy very expensive 36 euros but the food were so disgusting and I even told Kuba that I could cook better than this <laughs> and Kuba was his day was just ruined like oh my god why are they cooking this way? Guys, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself because I can only do it sometimes. Like, I can only do good decisions sometimes. I cannot really do it all the time. I should just trust myself with what I did last night, right? Oh, <gasps> it's tea? It's like... 17% alcohol. Food coloring, maybe. No. What? It's fun with 17%. Is that? Alcohol? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> you're, you're going to drive tomorrow. Mm. Oh, very little. So here we are, finally after four days. Now we are able to finally eat proper food. <laughs> proper food cooked from us. And right now, all men watching this video has to listen to me. Immediately learn how to cook or just cook whatever it is. Because cooking is much more better than cleaning. Like that's the thing i hate about the whole cooking stuff like afterwards coming that cooking cleaning wiping get your wife get your wife do it so the relationship is 50 50 and everything works yeah and she's happy because she hates cooking i love washing i love cleaning yeah so here we are tuesday evening Wednesday morning we're transferring back to the north of Austria and then we're finally going home. Mm -hmm. Here are these doors. 
when people who are staying here can write the things they enjoyed or they liked here or they were doing here and Gwen is also including something enjoyed cooking my writing is horrible so if you are on a vacation in the other country do you know one thing how to know if this person is a Czech or not this is the sign this is the sign homeless man huh? homeless man huh? <laughs> Jacob looks like a homeless here <laughs> He's very hungry. We still have four hours left to arrive in Czechia. Four hours and a half. So it's already afternoon and that's why he's very hungry right now. Is it good? Good. You look like you're wearing lipstick. <laughs> Both of us are already very tired. You are tired of what exactly? That napping for five hours already <laughs> in the car? No, I'm tired already from walking, hiking and stuff. I couldn't sleep at night, so that's why... So it was me snoring at night then. Yeah. And I could hear myself snoring. Yeah, yeah. you're snoring a lot then. I will just visit house that soon in winter. Yeah. With you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When was saying that I look like homeless, there is nothing wrong to rest this way once you have to stop on the gas station, yeah. refill energy. But now you have to transfer to the car again and you can sleep there. Is that fine? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for hours not to sleep. Yeah. Here it is guys, this is the end of the end. This video is the fourth part of our vacation in Austria together with Gwen. If you've missed three previous videos, the links are down in the description, so check it out as well. Thank you guys for watching this video as well. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button and see you again in the next videos, which are probably going to be like our casual life and preparing for moving to the Philippines. See you next time.